conversation. Wow. The history is a little bit sad. First. Okay. <laughs> Food first. I'm starving. This is it. Oh. Kimchi looks so good. Oh, kimchi is so good. Yeah. Guys. Hello guys, before we pop off to our next destination, we want to give a huge thank you to Surfshark who is sponsoring this video. You guys know the number one thing we use them for is streaming platforms. Mm -hmm. Sometimes Netflix Korea doesn't really have the shows that we want to watch and other countries have it. So we'll use Surfshark VPN. We'll change the IP address to another country and yes. watch the shows that we want. Exactly. Yeah. It also comes in super handy when say you're trying to watch a YouTube video and it's region blocked. You can easily get around that by changing the IP address to another countries. So aside from getting access to a lot more content, Surfshark is a VPN virtual private network and it keeps you and your data safe online by encrypting your data and they also keep you anonymous online. And with Surfshark you can use it on an unlimited number of devices. So we've been using Surfshark for like over three years now. If you want to give them a go, they're super cheap we have a link in the description box and they're doing a winter deal right now where you can get up to six additional months for free excellent deal we are gonna pop off to our next destination now let's go we're sitting in the direct sunlight here trying to warm up because it is a windy chilly day here at Anguk station we normally come to this place when it's really warm. We never come here in the winter. Never. But anyway, uh, we <laughs> wanted to basically pretty much for the first time explore this place in the winter months. Mm -hmm. Like it's definitely prettier in the spring and summer and fall for sure. But I still think it has like its own unique beauty. There's a lot of Hanok houses here and traditional Korean food, which you saw from our lunch. And also a lot of really traditional like tea cafes and stuff like that. That's and we'll probably pop into one of those when we're getting kind of cold. But um, there are some places we have on our list for today. My hands are cold. I feel like a lizard sitting here on this like stone bench trying to soak up the <laughs> sun and be warm. So we're at Changdok Palace right now, which we've shown many times in our videos, but we're actually cutting through here to go to another palace, Changgyong Palace. And at Changgyong Palace, there's this greenhouse that we really wanted to check out for a long time and we've never seen it. So we're kind of going to do like a little shortcut through Changdok Palace all the way over to that palace and check out the greenhouse. So yeah, it's really weird to see this with snow in the background, by the way, because we only ever come here in like fall and summer. This place is 
proud of it because it's winter time. There's not many people here. This is my like secret little favorite area of Chundal Palace aside from the garden. And it's this kind of structure here. I think it's so pretty. So this is where it's connected. So we're going to like the next palace. And I've never been through here before actually. Yeah, we always went to Secret Garden. Yeah, which is on this path yeah. in that way. But I didn't know that they were connected like this. This pond like when I look at it, it really reminds me of when I was a kid, like growing up in Canada, right? Because the house that I used to live in before the house that my parents live in now, right behind our house, we had a lake. So every single winter we used to skate on like the frozen lake, right? But yeah, it makes me really miss that. Having like access to a lake behind my house for the whole winter. <laughs> so this is really beautiful, like even in the winter time. Over there. He's a chubster. Yeah, this place is absolutely stunning, but the history is a little bit sad. Yeah, this greenhouse was built during the Japanese occupational period. Korea's last emperor was mm -hmm. living here and was confined to this palace area. So supposedly, yeah. the Japanese built this to kind of comfort him mm -hmm. during that time. That's right. It was the uh, last emperor, Sun Zhong. Mm. Yeah. And actually, this greenhouse is the first Western-style greenhouse. It was yeah. built in during that time. It was like 1909. It is like Western-style, but I love how it has a lot of plants that grow in Korea yes. in here. So, like, the architecture itself is very Western, mm -hmm. but the plants are, like, plants that you see in Korea. That's right. Mm -hmm. Palace cat. <laughs> They're all fat. <laughs> These fat palace cats, man. We are going to probably head off to just like a little cafe quick visit before we head back. And this is kind of a traditional style looking one as well to kind of match with the theme of today. But it was really beautiful being in the palace grounds in the winter time. I've never been here before. 
in any of the palaces in the winter. It was so beautiful to see like, you know, frozen pond and some like snow on the grounds. And yeah, don't just write it off because it's winter time. It has its own beauty. We've seen a lot of Nordic country people. Yeah. I think for them, this is a spring. Their, their coats were like open. It was <laughs> hilarious. Yeah, we saw a lot like from, I could hear like Swedish and yeah, it was interesting. They didn't look cold at all. <laughs> not, not like us. Anyway, let's go. <laughs> remember but a couple times when we went to Jeju Island we love to go to the Osaluk. Osaluk is like really famous for its tea and they have this one beautiful location here you know this traditional area of Seoul and we love Osaluk. We used to be one close to our house and we we're devastated we went close because their desserts are best. So we were in the area and they have this more traditional looking one in this area so that's what we're Oh my gosh, I'm getting Jeju flashbacks immediately. <laughs> That's a classic and a must. Mm -hmm. I know it's cold outside, so we probably like, need more calories. Like nice excuse. excuse. <laughs> have filled ourselves to the brim with amazing food today it's already getting kind of dark the sun starts to go down like pretty early in the winter it's like almost four we're gonna bounce back home yeah <laughs> that's it 